you're not playing with some of these text frame options, you're just working too hard. So one of the things that, I'm gonna come in here, actually, I'm gonna make a really huge text frame, not huge, but enough to get some good text in there. And then I'm gonna shorten it back up. And I'm gonna go into text frame options or command or control B to open those up. Otherwise it's under object text frames options. And go down to auto size. Are you guys using auto size? This is the best, I love auto size. Whenever they pop that in, that was great. So one of the things I usually do a lot is make the, the height. So I wanna make sure that it grows in height. And I also wanna grow it usually just from the top downward. So I need to pick one of these directions. I can choose a minimum height as well, but I'm just gonna say grow that height. And so as I do that, it made a text frame large enough to accommodate all that. But when I delete some of this text, it also moves the text up, which I think is actually a little more magical. Um, both of them are magical, but this one I use because I use this for captions on photos all the time. So one of the things that I do, if I have a photo in here, let's bring in another Iceland picture here, because it's hot and humid outside, and I thought some you know, ice caps, okay, she looks cold, let's put that in there. Everybody's like, it's freezing in here, what are you talking about? I'm hot. Okay, so the nice thing is I can like sort of butt this up against the image, and I wanna shorten this up, but it says, no, you have text, and you just told it to auto-grow. But one of the things I like to do is, in the text frame options, is come and bring in a little bit of inset spacing. Whoops, and I wanna turn this off. I just wanna do a little bit of extra room at the top so that it gives me that space. So I can always snap my caption frames to my image frames, but have that little bit of breathing room. But then by having that auto-grow turned on as well, I have that set up, and I save that as an object style, I could even do that with no document and open and it becomes my object style in every uh, uh, document that I create. I can also save inside an object style, I can save a paragraph style. So I could have a paragraph style called captions, we put that in the object style, it becomes default for all new documents, then anytime I create an image, I can just go ahead and draw out a frame to the same width, snap it up to the image, it has that breathing room, and then as I make changes, to the caption, it also changes. So if I copy this text and just keep pasting, it will continue to grow with it as well. So for me, I have those set up all the time because that, even though they didn't take that long, to do that every time or copy and paste, that takes a long time, I think. And plus, just shrinking up and growing those text frames is a pain. So to me, I think that's one of the greatest things. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. For thousands more InDesign tutorials and articles, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. While you're there, sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.